making great use of all these extra resources that he has. Actually, he's throwing down a bunch of factories, so could we be seeing some siege tanks, or what are we going to be seeing from yellow? I don't know, but orange, meanwhile, is killing all of the expansions here. Actually, choosing to leave Mice's expansion up here. I wonder if he's going to go for that next, or if he's going to start going right into the main. The ultra, this ultra list is just killing stuff. There's no nothing back here to contest against this so this army is going to go completely unchecked down here and at the same time a bunch of uh, ultralists such a great tech switch against high templar they can't really do much against the ultralist and some uh and a side storm there actually killing probably more of fike's zerglings than even doing as much damage on the ultralist broodlords and ultralists man dax edwards teching up really quick and um that is going to be a huge problem as all of these more these ultralists and even some roaches he's got in here are going to be coming down to reinforce this. Probably going to use that army to take out <coughs> uh, Mice's expansion there. Meanwhile, he has this force of Broodlords, Hydras, and a couple of ultras taking out the main. I know I've already said that, but I want to check what's going on up here because I've got some Zealots and High Templar. And I'm just trying to do some economic damage. I need to stop Orange from being able to produce all these units somehow. If he's going to take out our mains, I better be able to take out his main. It looks like I'm going to start trying to rebuild in a, my opponent's uh, base. And actually, yes, it was Siege Tanks coming out, so another a good support. Siege Tanks pretty strong against Stalkers here, which is what I went for to try and deal with some of these Brood Lords. But, oh man, these sea tanks are going to do quite a bit of damage. Zealots are going to get in here, though, it looks like. And uh, be able to take out these sea tanks. And so, uh, just barely, hardly any army up here trying to kill their base. Meanwhile, Orange with this flock of Hydras, Ultras, Broodlords, and this is ridiculous. And if you guys are watching this and now, at this point in the game, I didn't realize, I think, how far behind my team actually was but we are way far behind I couldn't believe this game when I played it we were like there's no way that orange is still in this game this is unbelievable Fike is actually even building spine crawlers in the back of uh, Dax Edwards mineral line here gonna start killing drones with spine crawlers that's not something you see too often but uh, why not you know why not so at the same time orange will be trying to take this high yield and sort of moving himself gradually over this way, but the problem is this giant army down here. So if I check the army size, orange is dwarfing everybody. And actually, if you if you combine everyone's armies, it's about even. The problem is um, a bunch of that is probes and whatnot for for us, or is it? As yellow is now flying buildings down to this island, uh, this this command center is not going to make it. Bye bye command center. And it looks like I am going to start rebuilding my main at this expansion over here, which is pretty much all I have left, as Orange is just decimating everything we have over here. I'm going to be throwing down a... I have a gateway here. Or is it a gateway? A Stargate. Another Stargate. I'm going to start chrono boosting Void Rays at this point. So I'm thinking... Uh, you know, these Hydras are really going to be bad against Void Rays, but the Void Rays, I mean, what am I going to do against this thing, this giant ball of Broodlords with Ultras down here? So I was just thinking, what am I going to be able to do about this? I need to get some air units or something. So I've got a couple of Phoenix and um, a Void Ray and some High Templar here. And I think what I'm going to do here is try and hold this base. I'm going to try and get as much as I can because orange see orange does have this high yield which is going to be a big problem because there's just no way we're going to be able to break that base when he has this giant army so looks like he's going to start coming in here and going to start trying to clean up uh, stray buildings such as Fike's spine crawlers that were in the back of the other bases actually doing some scouting with roaches to see what's going on he's going to see that I built a nexus here uh, kind of maybe not the best use of minerals there because there wasn't much left to mine from but I am Trying to get the most out of it. And I think I started, okay, at this point I thought I thought we might be in for a base race earlier, so I started throwing a couple of pylons and stuff down in the middle of the map. I've got, look at all the minerals I have, man. This is terrible. This is terrible. Don't use this as a how-to, or my play as a how-to in any way whatsoever in this game. 3,000 minerals I'm sitting on right now trying to make void rays, and uh-oh. 
This is going to be trouble as Dax Edwards, it looks like, is going to now come in and break this base. This Void Ray is another bad player. If I should have done is use the Void Rays on my own building to get charged up before this battle. Going to be throwing down a bunch of side storms everywhere, trying to get these Hydras. But look at the micro from Dax Edwards moving the Hydras out of the range of the High Templars. And that is going to make all the difference because once the because if I had been able to kill those Hydras with the High Templar, then the Void Rays would have been able to take out this army eventually. But the Phoenix will go down. Everything will go down because of these Hydras on the ground. And the Ultras are going to be smashing this base. And it looks like we are going to lose this game. Trying to make a Void Ray. And that is not going to do anything. And Fike just had a bunch of Zerglings and a couple of Hydralists. Not enough to be able to rebuild at this point. Mice trying to build down here. But it looks like we are in desperation mode as Orange has the biggest army. And there's no way we're going to be able to break this army, so um, that's pretty much going to be it. I think it's just winding down time now. This is the part where we're all in disbelief that we actually lost this game after marching right through the front of their base and killing two Terran main bases and eventually even the Orange's main base, and we lost because of the clutch Broodlords. The guy, Dax Edwards, he used his Broodlords here on this high ground, and we should have just pulled back. We should have said, uh, I am not going to try and deal with that at all. Should have just pulled back, regrouped, tried to get as much anti-air that we could, and then make a, a push at the same time. Instead, we ended up wasting so many units, like just streaming them in, reinforcing unnecessarily. It's a good idea to try and, know, you got to try and realize when you're getting diminishing returns, when you're sending in reinforcements to a battle. Because that is exactly what was happening to us. And yeah, I echo those sentiments exactly by effing Broodlords. Um, just, I'm sitting there banging my head on the keyboard. I'm just like, man, if I, I, I can't do anything to deal with these Broodlords and Hydras. And then when he got the Ultras out, it was just like, good night. So, an extremely well played game by Dax Edwards. And you can tell why I saved this game because, I, I mean,. In retrospect, you know, this was a while ago, so neither Fike, Mice, nor I uh, were as good as we are now. I think if we played against these guys again, like, we would be, we would do much better. But, um, yeah, this is the part where we're just in disbelief. I actually have a Nexus here in the middle of the map. I don't know why. I think because I needed to make a probe. I, I don't know. This, You know, I'm rebuilding in the middle of the map, and that's about the time... When you have a nexus here that's not by any minerals at all, that's about... That, oh, I threw that down because I didn't want my buildings to get revealed. I actually rebuild over here, but... Yeah, that's going to be game, so... I um, apologize for my voice and stuff because I'm sick, and... And I know, and... Uh, it wasn't the most intense game, but this game I had to get out of the way because I could not shake it. I could not get this game out of my head. I could not believe that Dax Edwards, the Orange Zerg, came back and crushed us after we annihilated his teammates' bases. We, there's a lot of things we could have done differently in this game. Um, you know, we should have been trying to take out Orange's base instead of lingering around, killing uh, unnecessary production uh, buildings up here. So if you find yourself in this situation, a couple things to take away from this game are, one, when you're going into your opponent's base and you've crippled them, don't waste your time just killing every production facility on attack move and being like, oh yeah, we won, this is a game over. Group your forces up, move to the next base, and kill his command center. Group up, move to the next base, kill the command center, try and cripple them. Um, go for the throat, go for the jugular. Don't let him rebuild. The other thing we maybe could have done is when we realized that this was we weren't going to be, be able to break this because of the broodlords and stuff, we should have fallen back and tried to expand and defend and get our army sizes bigger and combine forces so that we would be able to deal with orange because we had already taken two players out. So instead of overextending ourselves and thinking, oh, we got this, I'll just side storm a bunch of stuff, the broodlords, uh, high templar is not that effective against broodlords. So uh, if they are, I just don't know how to use them properly because uh, it's going to take three side storms to kill a broodlord. It's good for softening them up and forcing them to move back, but you're not going to kill them really with that. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is Irie Starcraft, and um, even though I'm sick, I may try and do another game or two here, so um, that's going to be it for me, and peace out.